Hello everyone. So you saw the topic on the video, you know what I will be talking about. Just to warn you, English is not my native language, so I may do some errors, bad accent, bad sound. Just to know it. Okay, so let's get started. You know, on uh, Windows, uh, when the gamers want to just check on the performance of the games, they have these uh, two river tuner fabs that allows them to check on multiple things actually, not only the FPS, the frames per second, but also the GPU, the GPU load, the CPU memory usage, all these things, and can give them pretty good picture on what's happening in the game. And the question is on Linux, what do we have? on Linux as uh, alternatives. So that's the topic. And let's start. First alternative, as you may know, it's Steam. Steam itself has an integrated tool that allows you to check on all the games, the FPS, and it's pretty cool. And what's actually is good about Steam is uh, that it works on all games. OpenGL, Vulkan, Wine games from uh, DirectX to OpenGL or Vulkan. So it just works on all games, on all video cards, NVIDIA, AMD. And this is the good part for it. And all that you need to do is just go to settings in game, enable it. You can check it on what corner you have. You can change the color, either it's grey or green. And that's it. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, just works. And then, uh, apart from that, uh, this tool can not only use it on games that are inside Steam library, but you can also use it outside of Steam. So let me just demonstrate you if we take uh, just this command. You just have to type it and that after that just type the game. They don't want to play. And you can see, you can feel the FPS. And this is cool. Because actually, you can use it on all games. Doesn't matter if it's inside Steam, outside Steam. And actually, just to one, as far as I know, this is the only two uh, alternative on flaps that uh, works on everything, just everything. And all other tools that I'll show you, actually, they all have some limitations. But you'll check, you'll see them just in a second. Okay. So, the second one is the GLX OSD. So, important thing about it is that GLX OSD is already discontinued. It's uh, not in development anymore, there is no more support, but it's still downloadable, you can still install it and use it, it's just that if you have some problem, you're on your own. So, no fixes. Uh, other thing, this tool works only on OpenGL games. So if you have uh, Vulkan games, doesn't work. That's it. And also, there are some limitations on the presentation. Actually, you can see that this tool has a uh, 
a lot more details to present to show instead of uh, Steam, the Steam layer. You see, on the Steam layer, you see there's only the FPS counters. Here you can see the course, uh, temperature, the GPU load, and the thing is that the GPU's informations are available only on NVIDIA proprietary drivers, if you have NVIDIA cards. On AMD, you can have only the FPS. And I will just uh, show you how it is. So yeah, you can see there's only FPS in the frame times, of course. And yeah. so I'm not sure that I can recommend you using this tool. Now eventually if you have an NVIDIA card, you can try it and just uh, check on your OpenGL games or basically on the older games that are using OpenGL. And the NVIDIA proprietary data, actually you can have a bit more information to, to check on, on the GPU usage and all these things. Uh, one more limitation, it doesn't work with uh, Wayland, only on X sessions, and if I am correct, only on 32 bit games. So if a game uses 64 bits libraries or something like this, it will not work. I think not sure. But the fact that uh, this tool is already out of support, you can expect to have a games on which uh, you won't be able to, to work, even if they are supposed to work on OpenGL. Okay. Uh, next, uh, next tool. It's uh, this one. Gallium Hub. So this tool, again, it's, uh, it works only on OpenGL games. So no Vulkan and also it works only on AMD Radeon cards so no NVIDIA either so a pretty big limitation but the cool thing about this uh, this tool is that uh, it provides a lot of details so if you have AMD card if you have OpenGL games it can actually give you a lot or a lot of information about uh, about the games, how it performs and all these things. And if I can uh, demonstrate you. Yeah, one more thing is actually you can tweak uh, what to show you. Here that you can see it's actually yeah, off on this side. Uh, this side here actually presents you it's a pretty good guide to show you how you can tweak, modify, choose what information to show on all these details that you are actually interested in to, to follow, to monitor during gaming. And you can see. You can see all the CPU threads, uh, CPU utilization, GPU load. I think, yeah, I haven't included the, which one? Yeah, the GPU frequency usage, but it is there also, and it can be added. And again, the bad part for this tool is only in the cards, only open geo games unfortunately okay next to uh, about the Vulcan games you have uh, this layer 
here, which is developed by Intel mainly. I'm not sure if uh, other developers are participating in this, but it also works. So generally this tool works on Intel, GPUs and AMD open source, which are using the MESA overall. And it is uh, something like this. Maybe you have seen it in my previous uh, game. So this is the game that uses Vulkan properties. All you need is just to add this thing. And run the game. Here we can So, yeah, I'm not sure what will be the advantage of this tool over the Steam. So, yeah, you can have, you can see a few more details for the monitoring, the frames, the frame timings. Uh, I have tried to look if you can not also monitor the CPU, GPU usage, uh, RAM utilization. I haven't really found it. Maybe it is there. It's just that I, yeah, I missed it. Maybe. Yeah, and it's only on local games. In AMD and Intel GPUs, no in the proprietary for this tool. Also, yeah, I haven't uh, actually thought about it because I don't have NVIDIA now, but NVIDIA itself, I remember it has one uh, kind of layer that can be activated and it's kind of like the uh, Steam layer actually, it can show you only the FPS and it's integrated in the proprietary driver, if I remember well. Uh, yeah, I won't search it actually now. Maybe I will add it in the description below. Uh, yeah, so you just have a, can have an idea. But actually, these tools uh, are kind of uh, without uh, purpose much because Steam already is a tool that uh, can work on all games and you can check already the, the FPS in them. But unfortunately, the other tools that show you more information, they are just to work on some games, some APIs, and all this stuff. Okay, one last tool that I will show you, it's for the Wine games that uh, work from uh, Windows, DirectX 11 games, translated to Vulkan Linux games. And this is the DirectX Vulkan hub that can provide you pretty good information also. But it works only on games that are translated from the DirectX 11 to Vulkan and not else. And here you can actually modify the thing when you put full, it will show you 
a lot of information otherwise you can just put FPS it will show you only the FPS and nothing else so if I leave it on full so I'm not sure maybe it will take a bit of time until it loads loading so yeah you can see a lot of information also memory usage FPS driver versions all these things And I personally think this uh, overlay tool is the most beautiful one. It has the nicest uh, fonts and structure. But again, it yeah, doesn't work on native games. But at least it works on uh, NVIDIA and AMD on both. Brands. Yeah, pretty slow to load. Moreover, I haven't uh, played uh, tested this game for quite a time. I don't play it much. I can just show you one last thing just so you can see. It's only for if you put on the FPS, but I'll just put one. And now you will see, I hope it will load a bit faster than previous one. So now you can see it has a little bit less information, so it's less intrusive on the screen. And as I told you, if you just put instead of one, just FPS, you have only the, this FPS uh, line, showing the FPS, but it again, you have also Steam layer for the FPS. Well, that's it. So I hope you was able to understand my English. Uh, I may have made some mistakes, uh, grammatical English mistakes. Uh, I have made, missed something on the tools. If you have some urge, you can just add more information below in the comments. I don't know. Just in case someone needs to have a bit more information. Basically, that's it. Okay, thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.